three, two, one, boom. And we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone currently joining us from the comfort of their home, I would like to welcome you to our grand lockdown linguistic battle. English Olympiad presents Pro Linguist, Battle of the Linguistic Wizards. Now, the pandemic hasn't been much kind towards us. Most of us are stuck in our couch and are forced to chow down the Netflix shows over and over again, which is, isn't that much fun. There hasn't been a new Marvel movie ever since Spider-Man Far From Home. How outrageous is that? As a movie connoisseur, I hate this pandemic. I am assured that you also abhor it. There isn't that many movie material out there in the making, except for Dark Season 3. That's the only thing more confusing than the current state of world right now. Now, fun isn't something that you consider while being stuck in a pandemic, but this series-based quiz does put a smile on our face. Now, I hope everyone of you are familiar with pop culture and fandom. Now, I can present arguments like Game of Thrones or MCU or Star Wars fan franchise has changed the world, it has influenced many socio-economic changes that you cannot imagine. For example, anime is a $2 trillion industry in Japan. Can you imagine that? We can build almost three or four Padma bridges with that money. So now let's shift our perception a little bit. I want to show you how important pop culture is in our life. I am not going to, to trivialize them, but look, politics divides us, religion divide us, social, social issues divide us, cultural beliefs divide us. But a single meme or a movie, a TV show can bring us all together. So that's the power of pop culture. I really believe that. I can go in a room full of unknown people whom I didn't know and if they, if they know about my favorite show, I can converse with them for hours and hours. So here in English Olympiad, we acknowledge the cultural significance and importance of pop culture. So now let's talk about our organization. English Olympiad is a great journey with the motto of inspiring leadership. It's a global platform, platform where a plethora of students are participating as competitors also many more as leaders known as campus ambassadors. Our journey started in 2017 and we are stepping on our third season this year. Please note, this is not our traditional Olympiad, but rather a very special event. This event was created for the students so that they can pass their leisure and also practice to develop their language skills. Now let's talk about a special group of people. These people don't just binge watch shows. They are the ultimate geeks. They analyze every episode, every scene, and every detail. They don't stop there. These types of people are the ones who will rock the stage of series-based quiz. Now the question is, who will take the home, who will take home the crown of the ultimate geek? Now it's time to meet our geeks who are putting the, an iconoclastic slap on the face of the people who said that your serious addiction will go in vain. So now let's introduce our participants to our audience. At first, I would like to, I would like Musaiba Yasin to be on screen. Hello. Hi, this is Musaiba Yasin. Uh, student of grade 11 from Adamji Cantonment College. Okay, then I would like to request Mohamed Abrisham Rashid Wasif to be on screen with us. Hi, I'm Mohamed Abrisham Rashid Wasif. I'm from British Nurmohamed Public College of Class 9. Okay, then I would like Priyo Jyoti to join us. Hey, uh, this is Priyo Jyoti. Of grade nine from St. Joseph High Secondary School. Okay, 
Now I would like Atika Amin Orani to join us on the screen. Gavin Orani from Adelji Cantonment College. Okay, now, uh, now I would like Noshin Nusrat to be with us on screen. Hello, I'm Noshin Nusrat Neha. I am an HSC candidate from Vikarnasan on School and College. Okay, great. So now I would like to introduce our honorable, handsome adjudicator. Adjudicator. Uh, Hello guys, uh, I'm Zubair Wasi. So I'll be the adjudicator of your uh, finale of series based quiz round. I think it's very interesting. And I really congratulate all the five finalists for reaching in the final. And I hope it will be a good run today. Okay. Now let's talk about our three shows, which our participants will be asked questions. At first, they will be asked questions from Game of Thrones, then they will be asked questions from Friends, and then they will be asked questions from Harry Potter. the audience please be patient we will conduct our live our live session very soon our contest very soon so shabab junaid is saying that good luck people zakaria nilo is saying be patient efrahin is saying all the best Afin Mahmoud is saying best of luck. Sami Abdullah saying, uh, saying great to see Zubair Wasib Bhaya. Sanjida Ahan Singha saying give your best. Efe Rahin is saying it's your golden opportunity. Sajia Jahan Singha is saying best wishes. So we can start our contest. So the very first segment is so friends. The very first segment and is the first friends, question is the first question is Friends was originally friends called was originally X. Called it was then X. renamed was Friends then renamed like us. And then six six of one. Before becoming friends, name X. So Priyo Jyoti will be the first person to answer this question. Yes, the uh, Friends was originally called Insomnia Cafe. Friends, so I would like, like to request like our to request adjudicator our to tell us if that's correct or wrong. Uh, the answer is uh, Insomnia Cafe. 
So I'm gonna give you plus ten okay. for the correct answer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So our second question is lobster is mentioned so by which character and what does it refer to? Uh, I think we have already got response from the participants. So, so no, we, no, okay. we, okay. So, I would like Priyo Jyoti so like to answer, Priyo this, Jyoti question to answer this question first. first. Um, lobster is mentioned by Phoebe Buffet and it refers to people who are moments for life. Moments for life. Because uh, lobster Priyo, is very can explain more? Fair can you explain more about lobster? Yeah, you are you are in a correct track. I just need to hear a um, more a bit of it. Basically, lobsters always pair up for life. Their first mate is their lifetime mate. So when two people fall in love, Phoebe compares them to lobsters. Yes, uh, that's the correct answer, Prio. Uh, plus five for telling me about Phoebe and plus 10 for telling me the reference. So you're going to get plus 15 for these two answers. So the third question, so the third is, question lobster is lobster has lobster been mentioned, has been in, mentioned which in which season and which and episode? Which episode? Uh, you have to tell me about the uh, episode name, in which episode uh, this lobster word was mentioned, and uh, in which season. You have to tell me the number of the season, and also the name of the episode. Do we have anybody? We have got Nusaiba. So Nusaiba is the first one. Nusaiba, Nusaiba. So, so I'll Nusaiba give floor to Nusaiba one. to answer the question. So I'll give floor to All Nusaiba right. to answer. So the season, uh, the lobster was first mentioned in season two, but I'm not sure about the episode. It was in season two. Season two. Can you guess the number of the episode or the name of the episode? Not really, but not really. Should but I just go with a wild guess? Should I just go with a wild guess? Oh, yeah, you can. I think as we have, don't have anybody, uh, you can guess it. Um, seven? Um, seven? Uh, no, it's not seven. Okay, so I think uh, nobody's going to attempt for the answer. Uh, the answer is, yeah, Nusab is correct. It was mentioned in, in season two. And uh, it was mentioned in episode 14. And the episode name was the one with the prom video. So I'm going to give Nusaiba. 10 marks for mentioned about the season two. We're proceed to the next question. Can we move on to the next slide? Okay, there's a picture and the question is, who stayed in the box on which event or day? Nusaiba, uh, the first person to answer that question is Priyo Jyoti. I'll give, give floor to Priyo Jyoti to answer that question. I believe it was uh, Chandler Bing on Thanksgiving. 
Uh, yes, Priyo, that's the correct answer. Uh, it was Chandler on the Thanksgiving day. So I'm going to give you 20 marks for this. Priyo gets 20. So the fifth question so for you guys question. is, X was pregnant while portraying a character in the show. Writers had to incorporate her pregnancy in the script of Friends. Who is X? So Notion will be the first one to answer that question. I would, I would give floor to Notion to, to, to answer that question. The answer is Phoebe Buffet. Can you just uh, read the question again? Uh, I was asking about the, the answer is Phoebe Buffet was put, uh, pregnant while portraying a character in the show. While portraying a character in the show. I would request our adjudicator to tell us if that answer is correct or not, so we can move on to our next participant who can answer that, who is willing to answer that question. So our adjudicator is having some internet connection related problem. Okay, let's move on. Let's okay, read some comments on. from our live let's section. Adiba Taiba is saying, keep Adiba going. Taiba. Mahir Khan is saying, is interesting. Sakib Akash is saying, nice. Shakila Jaffin is saying, fantastic. I would request our adjudicator to tell us if that answer is correct or wrong. That answer so we can is move on to our next participant who is willing to answer the question. So we can move on to our next participant who is willing to answer the question. So, uh, Noshi is per partially correct that uh, Phoebe was pregnant. But actually, I was asking about this uh, the actress who portrayed Phoebe. Uh, can you tell me the name who portrayed Phoebe? Noshi. If Noshin cannot answer that question, we will move on to Priyo Jyoti. I was, if Noshin cannot answer that question, we will move on to yeah, Priyo so Jyoti. We are moving on to Priyo. We are moving on. Yes, uh, the answer is Lisa Kudrow, the actress who Next played Phoebe Buffet. Yes, played Phoebe Buffet. Lisa Kudrow, the answer is Lisa Kudrow. Lisa Kudrow, the answer is Lisa Kudrow. Yeah, actually, I was asking about the actress. I was not asking about the character, okay? I was asking about the uh, actress, who is obviously Lisa Kudrow, who portrayed Phoebe. So I think uh, at this point, Noshin got confused. She was uh, telling me about Phoebe. So Phoebe was not the correct answer. But uh, for this, I'm not going to uh, do any negative marking to Noshin, but I'm going to give. Uh, 10 marks to Prio, okay? And uh, Fardin, like uh, when you are muting the other participants, you're already also muting me. So every time I need to talk, I need to like unmute you. So like, uh, can you just uh, give it an appropriate Studio answer? host, can you note that point? Studio host, can you note that point? Okay, can we move on to our okay. next slide? Can we move on to our next slide? Yes, so for this question, now she didn't, uh, Noshin gets zero and would say PO gets plus 20. 20 or. So 
the sixth question is who is he so the sixth tell question his is parents name. who is he tell his parents name so priyo jyoti so, will be the first one priyo to answer that question will be the first one to answer that question yeah his name is ben and he's ross's son he's ross's and carol's son uh yeah that's the correct answer for you it's ben geller and he's the uh, son of uh, ross geller and carol willy so i'm going to give it 20 marks for this Okay, can we move on to our next slide? Question is who is he? Which animal is he portraying? Which heritage does this animal carry? Heritage does This I will give Priyo the floor to answer that question. I will give Priyo the floor to answer that question. Yes, uh, this animal is an armadillo, the holiday armadillo to be exact, and he carries the Jewish heritage. He's he like this is Ross dressed up in a costume to Doom. inform Doom. Ben about his own heritage. Inform like Ben about Jewish. his own heritage, like he's half Jew. Yes, that's the correct answer, Pio. I uh, I'll give you plus twenty for telling me all the right answers. Okay, can we move on to our next slide? The eighth question is: At the end of a New Year's Eve party, the friends discuss their resolutions. What are the resolution of Ross, Phoebe, and Monica? I think I know one, but I don't know the other two. Then, then uh, I will take your only one answer. Also, you can like answer. You can tell me anyone, 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 anyone of the answer. Uh, uh, Ross is resolution, Ross is on, resolution to get married. To get, get married. Like that year. Like that year. Anything else? Can you tell um, me the your name? I, I, you I, I don't know about Phoebe and Monica. Monica. Can sorry, you tell right. me the the right. year? What was the year? I think it's nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, so, Priya, I'm not taking your answer. I'm also not uh, giving you any negative marks. Uh, Do we have any other participants? Who's to anyone else, who'd, anyone like to else would like to answer that question? Anyone else would like to answer that question? I think uh, we should move on. So I'm telling you the answers. Firstly, uh. Ross resolution okay. was to be happy in 1999 and okay. also to do something he hasn't done it before. Uh, next we have uh, about Phoebe. Phoebe resolution was to be a pilot of a commercial jet. And thirdly we have Monica. Monica's resolution was to take more pictures of that group. I think this is the these are the answers I was expecting from you guys. Uh moving on to my next question. Ninth question is what is the name of the monkey why Ross adopted it and why what it is its favorite song I would give floor to Priyo to answer that question Okay the name of the monkey is Marcel its favorite song is the lion sleeps tonight and Ross adopted it uh from a like, his work I think
I would request our educator to tell us if that's the right answer or not. Okay, so uh, you is correct. Uh, the answer is uh, Mercil, and uh, the song name is The Lion Sleeps Tonight. So I'm going to give Priya for, uh, for this 10 marks. And uh, do you have any other participants? Those want to uh, attempt for why Rose adopted it? So I would give Nusaiba so the floor to answer that question. I'll uh, pass. I would like to pass. Okay. Then I would okay. like to give Atika like Ani the opportunity, the opportunity to, answer to, answer to answer that question. Yeah, I don't know that either. Okay. Okay, so I think so we can move on to our next slide. Yes. Moving on to my next slide. So the tenth question is by saying a so the tenth line, is by saying X gave a line, an honest review X of why abominable Thanksgiving fake. Name X Y Z. Thanksgiving fake. Name X Y Z. So I would repeat that question by saying A, a line, X gave an honest review of why abominable Thanksgiving Z, name X, Y, Z. I think no one wants to answer that question, so we can move on to our next slide. So there is a picture. The question is, tell so Zoe's pick up line in this scene. The question scene. is, tell to whom Zoe's was he pick telling? up line in this scene. To whom was he telling? So I would give Noshin the floor to answer that question. Zoe's pick up line was, how we doing? And he was telling this to Rachel Green. Oh no, Phoebe Buffet, I want to change my answer. Oh no, Phoebe Buffet, I want to change my answer. Okay, so uh, I think the first answer is correct. How we doing is correct. So I'm getting you plus five for this. And the second answer you gave uh, me uh, was PB, which is wrong. So it was Rachel again, Green. It was Rachel this. Green. So Noshi, like okay. uh, can we you, move get, on to our next you get you get you get zero for this plus five and minus five. Moving on to my next question. Our third question is, what was Our Phoebe's twin sister is, called? What was Phoebe's twin sister I would, called? I would, I would give Priyo the floor to answer that question. I would give Priyo the floor to answer that question. Uh, Phoebe's twin sister's uh, name was Arthur. Phoebe's Arthea. twin sister's name was Arthur. Yes, correct answer, plus 10 Priyo, plus 10. OK, can we move on to our next slide? Yes. So what was the? Uh, so what was our thirteenth question, question is? Or which numeric number Monica got excited about? I would give Priyo Jyoti to answer the floor to answer I would that give question. Priyo Jyoti to answer the floor to answer that question. Uh, number is seven. I can't uh, quite number explain is why. Seven. I can't quite explain why. Uh, I think you don't need to explain for this, but yeah, correct answer plus 10 to Pio. It's seven. Okay, so I think we can move on okay. to our next slide. So, so I what think name did PB came up with the coma dial? PB came up with the coma dial.
Is there anyone who would like to answer that question? Is there anyone question? who would like to answer that question? Okay, so uh, I think nobody's uh, bringing atom. The answer is uh, Agamemnon. Okay, the answer is Agamemnon. Moving on to our next question. So our 15th so question is, there is a map is, and a X is trying to list all the states. Is trying which to list two all states, states does he forget? Which two states does he forget? You have to tell me about X, uh, what's the name of X, and also the two states. Prio, Prio is on the on so the I phone. I would like to give Prio so Jyoti like to, to, to answer that question. Um, it's Ross, um, it's and, Ross he and he forgets the Ross. I think it's Wyoming and... I think it's uh, Wyoming and... Uh, Oklahoma or something. Oklahoma or something. Okay, so Prio, uh, Ross is the correct answer. I'm giving you plus uh, 10 for this, and your state names are wrong, but I'm not giving you any negative mark for that. Okay, uh, anybody can attend. So next we have uh, Atika with us. Atika, can do you know the state names? Already, Prio has already uh, told me about the. Uh, one. Uh, one was Ohio. Uh, one was Ohio. Yes, one is Ohio. And the other. And the other. Okay, I'm giving you plus five for telling me Ohio. And uh, next, do you have any other? Next, we have Nusaiba. Nusaiba, do you know the other state name? The other one is Delaware. The other one is Delaware. Yes, Delaware. So I'm giving Nusaiba another five marks. Okay. Moving on to my next question. So our 16th question is, what did Monica and Jandler call their twins? So I would like to give Nusaiba the floor to answer that question. Um, the son's name was Jack, Jack Bing, and um, the daughter's name was, I'll just go with the son's name. I'm not sure what the daughter's name. Okay, I would request our adjudicator to tell us if that is right or wrong. Okay, I'm sure. giving you plus five for this. Uh, Jack is the correct answer. Okay, I request our adjudicator to tell us if it's right or wrong. That's yes, correct. Uh, it's Jack Bing. And do we, we have any other any other cons contestant? Or about the... To so tell I would me give the name Atika or Arani person. the floor to answer the... Second part of the question. So I would give Anika Aroni the floor to answer the second part of the question. Erica and Jack. Erica and Jack. Yes, correct answer. Uh, or you get plus five. Okay. Uh, moving on. So our seventeenth question is: What magazine was sent to Miss Chandler Bong? Repeat that question. What magazine was sent to Miss Chandler Bong? So no one is interested to answer that question. Let's move on to our next slide. Our 18th question is, in the first ever episode, Rachel ran away from her wedding to X. Who is X and what is his profession? Okay, I will give floor to Priyo Jyoti to answer that question. Yeah, uh, Rachel's fiance's name was Barry, and he was a dentist, I think. I would request our to tell us if that is right or wrong. So basically, I have two questions here. You have to identify X and his profession. I request our to tell us if that is right or wrong. Wrong. Yeah, uh, Barry. What was the answer, Pio? Can you repeat it? It's Barry, and he was a dentist. Correct answer. I'm giving you Am a plus ten. Audible? What? Yes, we can hear you. 
So let's move on to our next question. In order to avoid X, which country does Y tell her he is going to? Who is X and Y? I would give floor to Nusaiba to answer that question. Okay, X is Janice, and the country that is uh, Y is Yemen. Could you hear me? I would Our request for right to tell us if that's right or wrong. Right wrong. Right wrong. Okay, let's move on to our next question. The 20th question is, which school did XYZ all attend? Who are XYZ? I would give floor to Priyo to answer that question. Priyo is interested to answer that question. Um, XYZ are Ross, Rachel, and Monica. But the school is somewhere in Long Island, but I don't exactly remember the name of the school. OK, I would request our adjudicator to tell us if that's right or wrong. OK, so right or wrong. plus 15, uh, the three names are correct. You will guess plus 15. Can you guess the school name? Anybody? So if Priyo cannot answer that question, I would move on to Nusaiba to answer the second part of the question. Uh, the name of the school was Lincoln High. Correct answer, plus 10. Okay, let's move on to our next question. So we'll be having our second series set of questions with us in a few moments. Uh, how are the questions? Uh, are they hard or difficult to answer? I mean, the difficulties vary. I mean, the difficulties vary. Okay. So let's read some comments from our comment section. So Abra Rafi is saying these people are killing it. Marzia Binta Nizam is saying keep going, guys. Ryan Rashid is saying you are very fast. No Shing Noel Khan is saying mashallah. Radia Nasra Ahona is saying, No Shin No Our Magic. Marzia Mitanizam is saying, You can do it. Tani, Tania Jannat is saying, What an exciting event. Ifat Sharia Rodro is saying, Great. No Shin No Khan is saying, Some of you can do it very fast. So. So I think we can read some more comments. Tanzin Binte Nawaz is saying, mashallah. Iftar Rahman is saying, great to see you all. Luftan Risha is saying, greatly done. Umme Tamia Sanjay is saying, you guys are doing great. Nafis Fuad is saying, you guys are doing great. Efrain Rahin is saying, you guys are the best. Sayara Nawar is happy. Uh, Tanzin Binte Nawaz is saying, pie so good. Ishrak Fabi is saying, amazing. Abdel Rafi is saying Priyo is killing it. Malat Tahiyat is saying Priyo all hail. So, what are how are you guys feeling? Um, Priyo, are I you confident? Feel, I've got Game of Thrones. I'm not really sure about Game of Thrones. Okay. So we have our scoring sheet with us. Priyo has got 160 marks. Nusaiba has got 40 marks. Orani has got 10 marks. And sadly, Abrisham has got zero marks and Noshin has got zero marks. Oh, I hate this bit. I hate this bit. There's nothing to be scared of. So we have Game of Thrones. The very first question is, the leader of the White Walkers is known as Night King in the Game of Thrones. He is first seen in which episode? Let's 
Is there anyone who is interested to answer that question? So I think we, I, I think we can move on to our next slide. So the second question is, what is the name of the deadly disease that, that causes the surface of skin to harden and classify? So I would give floor to Atika Arani to answer that question. It was, um, um, what's the name? What's the name? Dragon skin? Dragon skin? Sorry? Dragon scale. Dragon scale. That's the wrong answer. So I would give floor to Nusaiba Yasin mm -hmm. to answer that uh, question. It was great scale. The answer is great scale. The answer is great scale. The answer is a uh, Scalar doma or systemic scalarsis. Okay. Okay, I think we can move on okay, to our next I question. Think we can move on to our next question. So the third question the is: third There are some pictures. Is, are name some them. Pictures. Name them. So I would request At Atika or Anito answer those questions. Okay. So the first one Atika, is. Atika, you have the floor. Erin. Uh, then Baratheon, Greyjoy, Lannister, Stark, uh, Targaryen, Tully, Martell, and Tyrell. Okay, that's wonderful. I would request our host to so, tell us if that's so right or wrong. That's yes, right all, or wrong. all of them are correct. I'm going to give 20 marks for all of them. Okay. okay, so let's move on to our next question. There is a picture. As the younger brother of Robert and older brother of Randley, who claims to have true ownership of the Iron Throne? So I would give floor to Nusaiba to answer that question. That's Stanis Baratheon. Correct answer, uh, plus 10. So that is wonderful. Now let's move on to our next slide. There's a picture. Now, how does Grey Worm become leader of the Unsullied? Is there anyone who would like to answer that question? Okay, I would like to give Wasif the floor to answer that question. The Unsullied chose Grey Worm to be the leader. Can you explain it a bit more? I mean, how he became leader or is there, was there an event which is why he became the leader? Daenerys Targaryen Daenerys gave Targaryen them the freedom to choose freedom their, to choose their leader, leader and they chose and they great, chose form. great form. That's all right. I'm, okay. I'm going to give you 10 marks for the answer. Okay. You get plus 10. Okay, so okay. I think we can move on to our next slide. Can we have our next slide with us? Okay, the sixth question is, how did Euron Greyjoy kill his brother, Belon Greyjoy? I would give Wasif the floor to answer that question. Euron Greyjoy pushed his brother off the bridge. Uh, that's partially correct. Uh, can you tell me what did he use to kill him? Any instrument or any anything? A knife. I'm not sure. A knife. I'm not sure. Okay. The correct answer, uh, you get plus 10. Okay. Great. Now, can we move on to our next slide? There's a picture. What is the meaning of Valar Morghulis? I would give Atika Aroni the floor to answer that question. Valar Morghulis means all men must die. Yes, that's the correct answer. For plus 10. Oh. So 
who married at the red wedding, the drawer for which famous hand made a cameo appearance during the red wedding. Which song did the phrase play just before the horrors began at the red wedding? I would give Atika Roni the floor to answer that question. Okay, the marriage was between Edmure Tully and some Frey girl, I don't remember her name. Uh, the drummer from the famous band was the drummer from Coldplay. And the song that was played was um, Reigns of the Castamere. Okay, uh, I think few things are not specific. Uh, do we have any next participant who can explain a bit more? Or be very specific about the uh, so I would give to answer the remaining questions. The remaining questions. No, no, I I like to pass. No, no, I, I like to pass. Okay. Next we have Wasif. Okay, Wasif, don't know the okay, answer. I like to pass. I like to pass. Okay. So. Okay. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna give uh, fifteen marks for this. Okay, to Atika. So let's move on to our next slide. There's a picture. What was Lord Peter Bellish's role on the small council? I would give Lord Chatika or any to answer that question. He was the master of coins. Uh, yes, and what's the duty of a master of coin? Uh, what does he do? To in maintain, the the finances or... maintain the finances of the state. Uh, correct answer, uh, you get plus 10. Moving on. So which character is often referred to as Giant Spain in their name? I would give floor to Nusaiba to answer that question. It was Tormund. Yes, that was Tormund. Third answer, plus 10. Okay, let's move on to our next slide. There's a picture. Who said this line? I'm simply asking you to run my kingdom while I eat, drink, and pour myself into an early grave. I would give Wasif the floor to answer that question. Robert Baratheon. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Plus 10 for that. Okay, let's move on to our next slide. Which vegetable related nickname is Stannis Baratheon's right hand man Davos Seaworth known by? I would give floor to Atika Aroni to answer that question. The Onion Knight. Uh, yes, correct answer. You get plus 10. Onion night. Okay, let's move on to our next slide. There's a picture. Why did Samuel Charlie join the Night's Watch? So I would like to give Atika Aroni the floor to answer that question. Because his father, because his father disowned him. Yes, he was forced to join. Uh, you get plus 10 marks for that. Okay, let's move on to our next slide. The small council is a small group of people who advises the king. Who is the master of whispers under Robert Baratheon? I would give Wasif the floor to answer that question. Lord Varys. Lord Varys. Yes, Varys correct answer. You get plus 10 marks for that. So the 15th question is, where is the house of black and white, the training temple of the faceless man? So I would like to give Atika Arani the opportunity to answer that question. It's in Bravos. Yes, it's Bravos plus 10, Atika.
Okay, the 16th question is Ewan Rion, who played Ramsey Bolson, was almost cast as which character? So I'd like to give Noshin Nusra the floor to answer that question. The answer is Jon Snow. Yes, Jon Snow plus 10 for the answer. Okay, let's move on to our next slide. There's a picture. What is the name of this underground insurgency group who funds them? I would like to give Noshin Nusra the floor to answer that question. I'm going to pass this question. Is there anyone who would like to answer that question? OK, I would like to give Wasif the floor to answer that question. Sons of Harpies. Can you yes, repeat that? Yes, Plus 10 for that. And who funds them? Do you know the answer, Wasik? I'm going to pass this. I'm going to pass this. OK, moving on. OK, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I wait, wait. remember it. I remember it. OK, so can we get a slave to answer that question? For your to answer that question? I didn't. I didn't. I'll pass. I'll pass. Okay, let's move on to our next question. What was Hodor called before he got his tragic door hold name? So I would like to give Nusaiba Yasmin a floor to answer that question. He was called Wallace. Yes, correct answer, plus 10 Nusaiba. Okay, so can we move on to our next slide? Can we move on to our next slide, please? Okay, the answer is author. Okay, he's author. Moving on. We have Atika. We have got Atika for this question. Atika, can you tell me the answers? Okay, our system theory. Our system theory is the Ratian. We do not so. We do not so. Yes, correct answer. I'm giving you 20 marks for all the correct answers. Moving on. So the 20th question. question. Okay, we're having some technical issues. are having some technical issues. Please be patient. So Efrain is say, saying, let's go. Are you guys anxious? Can I get an answer from anyone? Um, Harry Potter is up next, and I'm confident. Yeah, I okay. Know. Theo is confident. What about you, Wasif? Yes, I'm confident. Okay, Wasif is also confident. Our participants are exuberating with confidence, which is a good sign. Let's read some comments. So Noshin Nawal Khan is saying, amazing. Abra Rafi is saying, they seem very confident. Yes, they are. 
Sakira Ali era is saying keep going. Lutfun Rich is saying Harry Potter. Yes, Harry Potter is next. Tanya Janat is saying can't wait for Harry Potter. Yes, Harry Potter will we will have Harry Potter in a few moments. Abdul Rafi is saying wow. Mahir Khan is saying can't wait for Harry Potter. Ashir Asan is saying money heist and Harry Potter is love. Ifan Ahmed is saying they are very patient. Yes, they are. So we have the scorecard. Priyo has got 160 marks. Orni has got 115 mark. Nusaiwa has gotten 70 marks. Abrisham has gotten 50 marks. Noshin has gotten 10 marks. These marks are including the first and the second uh, second round. So let's move on to our third round. Let's go. And the series for this round is Harry Potter. So the first question is, may know that uh, Gryffindor's ghost is nearly headless Nick. What is his full name? I would give Nusaiba the floor to answer that question. Sir Nicholas Dave named C. Porpington. Uh, correct answer, Bastion for, for that. Okay, let's move on to our next slide. Okay, let's move what on to our What is the name of the plant that what Harry the used the plant uses that in order Harry to breathe used, underwater uses, during yes. the try with the tournament? Yes. So I will give floor to Priyo Jyoti to answer that question. Uh, the plant is gillyweed. Correct answer, Priyo, plus 10 for that. Okay, can we move on to our next slide? Okay, can we move on? What is the name of the plant, Harry? Okay, that's the same slide. We're having some technical issues. We'll have our next slide very soon. Uh, so our next question is, who was the app uh, apparition instructor in... Did we miss question three? Yes, we yeah. did miss yeah. question yeah. three. Okay, can we go back to question three? So the question three is, Monkshoot and Wolfbane, Wolfbane are the same plants, also known as what? I would give Nusaiba the floor to answer that question. Aconite, okay. it's aconite. Okay. Yes, correct answer, second night, last 10, Nusaiba. Okay, can we move on to our next question? Okay, can we move on to our next question? Who was the apparition instructor in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? So I would give Nusaiba the floor to answer that question. Um, Wilkie Twycross. Uh, yes, Nusaiba, that's the correct answer. Last in for that. Okay, let's move on to our next question. So the fifth question is, how many possible creatures fouls are there? We have already got Nusaiba. Nusaiba, do you know the answer? Yeah, it's 700. Yeah, it's 700. Yes, correct answer, 700. Again, plus 10 for that. So the sixth question is, name the author of the textbook 1000 Magical Herbs and Fungi. I think no one wants to answer that question. Can we move on to the next question? Okay, the seventh question is, in the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry, Harry and his friend are awarded last minute house points. 
putting Gryffindor ahead of Slytherin by 10 points. What was the final tally? So I would give Priyo Jyoti the floor to answer that question. Yeah, it was uh, 172 and 162. That's the wrong answer, Pio. You get minus five. Okay, then I would like Lusaiba to answer that question. Uh, it was 170 and 160. Wrong answer, minus five again to Lusaiba. Uh, may I try again? No, uh, okay, you cannot you try can, uh, after you you've uh, tried you once. You cannot try after you've tried once. Okay, okay, you can't. Okay. Okay. So I would like to give Atika the floor to answer that question. The question. floor to answer that question. Sorry, I have to pass. I'm sorry. Okay, moving on. How many nuts make a gal gallon? Gallion. How many nuts make so a gallon? So I would like to give Lusaiba so Yasin the floor like to answer that question. Lusaiba Yasin the floor to answer that question. 493. 493. Yes, correct answer, 493. Last 10 for that. So we have a picture. This one is two partner. So we have a picture. This one is two Where partner. does Vernon Dursley work Vernon and, Dursley what, does work the company and what does the company produce? So I would like to give Priyo so Jodi like the floor to answer the question. The floor to answer the question. Okay, uh, the company produces okay, uh, the company drill. Produces drill. But I'm not sure about the name. But I'm not sure about the name. Okay, uh, plus five marks for the partial answer. Okay, can we move on to our next slide? Okay, no, I'll give floor to Nusaiba Yasin to answer the second part of that question. The name of the company was Grunnings. Uh, yes, correct answer, uh, Grunnings. Okay, I think we can move on to our next slide. Harry first took the night bus, the prisoner of Azkaban. How much does a ticket cost if it includes hot chocolate? So I'd like to give Priyo Jyoti the floor to answer that question. I think it's 10, uh, 10 seconds, right? Uh, wrong answer, Priyo, minus five. Is there anyone who would like to answer that question? So I think we can move on to our next slide. I think we should move on to our next slide. Suppose in a duel, your opponent casts incendio which spell would you use to counter the effects? So I would like to give Nusaiba the floor to answer that question. The answer is Aguamenti. Or Aguamenti. Uh, correct answer, plus 10 for that, Nusaiba. Okay, I think we can move on to our next slide. Visitor's entrance to the Ministry of Magic is an abandoned red telephone booth in London. What is five-digit code you must dial to get in? I would give floor to Priyo Jyoti to answer that question. Uh, the code is 62442 because it spells magic. It spells magic. Yes, correct answer, plus 10 to Priyo. Okay, I think we can move on to our next slide. According to Sirius Black, who was the least popular headmaster of Hogwarts? So I would like to give floor to Atika Arani to answer that question. Sirius Black. Yes. Plus in to Atika. Let's move on to our next question. 
What is the name of the charm that is used by both Cedric Diggory and Fleur Delacour during the second task of the Triwizard Tournament to enable them to breathe underwater? I would give Fleur to Nusai by Yasin to answer that question. The bubblehead charm. Yes, bubblehead charm. It's uh, the correct answer. Plus 10 to Nusai Okay, let's move on to our next question. What magical hybrid beast did Rubius Hagrid breed in autumn in of 1994 by crossbreeding manticores and fire crabs? I would like to give Priyo Jyoti the floor to answer that question. Uh, the answer is the blast ended scroot. Yes, correct answer. Uh, gain, Priyo, you get, so you get plus 10, plus 10 marks. Okay, let's move on to our next question. Peeps could be controlled by only two beings. One was Albus Dumbledore, name the other being. I would like to give floor to Nusaiba Yasin to answer that question. The other person, the other being is the, the bloody person, baron. The other being is the bloody baron. Yes, bloody baron, plus 10 Nusaiba. Our 17th question is, being 37 years old at the time of filming, Shirley Henderson is the oldest actress to play a teenage Hogwarts student in the Harry Potter films. Which character did she portray? I would like to give floor to Nusai Bayasin to answer that question. The Morning Myrtle. The Morning Myrtle, uh, correct answer. Uh, plus 10 again to Nusai Okay, let's move on to our next question. The primary color of the house Ravenclaw is blue. What is the secondary color? I would give floor to Nusaiba to answer that question. Uh, the other color is bronze. Amazing answer, Nusaiba, again. Uh, you get plus 10 once again. Okay, Nusaiba is on a streak. Let's move on to our next question. After Sirius Black attacked the fat lady in an attempt to enter Gryffindor Tower, who was appointed to be the guardian of Gryffindor Tower? I would like to give floor to Nusaiba. I to didn't answer that question. I didn't give any number. I didn't give any initials. Okay. So is there anyone who would like to answer that question? I think we can move on to our next slide. Move on yes. to our next slide. The answer was Sir Kodegan. The last question of today's quiz. There's a picture. There's in a the picture. Hall of Prophecy, the there are rows and rows of glowing orbs. Which row contains the prophecy about Harry and Voldemort? So we will be the one who answer our last question. Last question. Prio. Prio. Uh, it's row nine. Uh, it's row nine. What did you tell? A row number what? Row nine. I think nine. Nine. Mm, I think that's a wrong answer. Yeah. Uh, can you go to the yeah. cyber? 97, row 97. So let's 97, move on to the cyber. Row 97. Yes, so let's move 97. on to the cyber. So Prio gets minus 5 and Nusaiba gets plus 10. So after 60 questions and then a very intense 60 questions indeed, we'll see the final scorecard. Let's read some comments. So Noshin Nawal Khan is saying, excellent. Tanzit Binte Nawal is saying, only girls. Meza bin Binte Nizam is saying, gonna miss this event. Umme Tasmiya Sanju is saying, they're slaying it. Yes, they are. Abdul Noor Sihab is saying, loving it. Shakira Ali Ira is saying, loving it. Um, the Burayana Tanha is saying, lit. Sami Abdullah is saying, great. Shabab Junaid is saying, top-notch performance. Yes, our, pa our participants have done it. All of them are champ or performed like a champion. Now I would like to give floor to our adjudicator to say something about our participants. Uh, 
uh, firstly, uh, many, many congratulations for answering most of the questions. When I was making questions, like uh, I thought I should all, uh, again review all the series. So like I started watching Friends, uh, Harry Potter, and Game of Thrones. Or I, I went through some recaps and tried to gather knowledge again and again to make some good questions. And I was uh, today I was thinking the questions were kind of difficult, and I was kind of scared about it. But you guys really nailed it, and uh, I'm so happy that you guys are really that much freak about um, three of the series. And also, and also, I'm like giving you the ad congratulations to the winners in advance. And We're I hope you guys will uh, technical issues. Yeah, you guys will keep nailing it. So the internet connection so the internet isn't that connection much merciful to all of us. I would like to request our adjudicator like to repeat what, what he said. Okay. Uh, I was I was made. I was mentioning about like uh, when uh, this morning I was like started making questions. I was kind of scared that uh, are these questions gonna be kind of difficult or hurt for our nine to twelve great participants but uh, they really nailed it i mean the way they were answering i i like uh, i figured out the all the enthusiasm all the passion for all the all of the tv series and for the last few days i uh, like reviewed most of them as much as I, I could and i also i am also pretty excited to know who is the winner of today's uh, series best quiz and i was also like appreciate for all of all of you for participating and qualifying in this round and also like uh, uh, like winning and becoming a champion or runner-up in today's quiz. And I hope you guys will keep this uh, moving on and uh, we're going to maybe meet someday and kind of gossip more about all of the series. Good luck for that. Yes, our participants, yes, are, our enthusiastic participants are enthusiastic and enthusiastic. they have a lot of energy and confidence. So we'll have our scorecards very soon. The person with the most marks in the three rounds combined will be our champion. So the scorecard will be with us very soon. Okay, we have the results. Lusaiba has gotten 185 marks. Prio has gotten 180 marks. Oroni has gotten 175. 125 marks, and Abrisham has gotten 50 marks, Noshin has gotten 10 marks. That means Nusaiba is our champion, and Prio is our first runner-up. I would like to congratulate everyone. I would like to congratulate Nusaiba and Prio. Thank you very much. So Prio was in a lead yes, in the first round, but Nusaiba, Nusaiba was consistent. She followed and she answered the questions very nicely in the following rounds. And that was a very close, close competition, to be honest. Only five mark difference. So I'd like to thank our audience, our honorable adjudicator and our participants. All of you are champions and I would like to congratulate everyone. Thank you.